a second that you are 10 years old again. You arrive home after the school bus drops you off on a nice, warm spring day. You expect to see your family, but instead, you walk into the house to find neighbors and friends. No sight of mom and no sight of dad. The next thing you remember is that drive to the hospital. The drive that was only 20 minutes became a trip that seemed to take hours. Thoughts of what happened swarm your head and you begin to wonder what life would be like without your dad. When you arrive, tragedy becomes reality when your mom tells you that daddy has died in a grain bin accident. Death is hard to comprehend at that age. In fact, it continues to feel like a dream for quite some time until doing things without dad just becomes a routine. And slowly, the memories fade. That story I just told, that was me, Kadrian Livingston, in April 2008. And since that day, I have been dedicated to ag safety so that story doesn't become yours. Grain and grain bins are dangerous and most don't know the dangers associated with them. That's why we are going to discuss some important facts and tips to stay safe when working with grain. When an auger carrying grain from the bin into the truck starts while you are inside the bin, you only have three seconds to react. After five seconds in flowing grain, you will become completely trapped inside the bin. But after 22 seconds, you will become completely covered in grain. There are also three different types of entrapments that can occur while inside a grain bin. The first is an unloading entrapment. The only safe way to avoid this entrapment is to never go into the bin while it is unloading. Grain is stronger than you. Once grain is past your knees, you will not be able to get out by yourself. But once it is past your chest, no one will be able to pull you out. It's important to never get put into this situation. The second is a bridging entrapment. When grain gets all crusty and moldy, it can create an air pocket in the grain. When weight is distributed on the air pocket, it will cave, causing you to be covered in grain and be trapped. The best trick to know if you are in danger or not is to pay attention if you are sinking in the grain. You will always sink two inches in grain, but if you don't sink at all, that means danger. You also need to be wearing a harness when in a bin full of grain, so if a bridging entrapment does occur, you will not collapse with the grain. The final entrapment is an avalanche entrapment. This happens when grain gets sticky and builds up on the wall of the bin. Sometimes people get into the bin to knock down the wall so it will keep flowing. However, this creates an avalanche in the bin and you will be completely covered in the grain. Never go into the grain bin that has grain stuck on the wall. Instead, poke the grain with a long stick from the top to continue the flow. Ways you can avoid these dangers. Zero entry. Never enter grain bins unless necessary. However, if you do have to enter the bin, here are some tips to keep you safe. Buddy system. Never be alone in a bin. Always have someone watching who can call for help. Hands-on training. Be trained to go inside the bin. Your local rescue team can help you with this, or the Grain Handling Safety Coalition is a great resource to help train you at grainsafety.org. Lockout, tagout, or loto. All equipment needs locked out and have a danger tag on it so others don't start the equipment by accident. Attach your life. If you must enter the grain bin, wear a harness or a lifeline to keep you from falling if the grain collapses underneath you. Call 911. Never go into the grain to rescue someone. Instead, call the rescue unit immediately and wait for them to respond or you could get trapped too. I can't guarantee something like this won't happen ever again, but I can help you be more safe and aware of the dangers that farming and ranching have. Saving lives today for a promised tomorrow.